Ciao a tutti, sono Andrea Dario, maestro di tennis di Ronchi Verde. Benvenuti alla quarta puntata della rubrica La storia del tennis. Oggi parleremo, come anticipato nella scorsa puntata, delle corde. Vedremo tre filmati. Il primo, molto bello, sulla storia e su come vengono costruite le mitiche corde in budello naturale. Corde che sono state utilizzate dai primi giocatori, nelle prime racchette di legno, e che ancora oggi vengono utilizzate da giocatori professionisti, eh, magari ormai nello schema ibrido, quindi corde in budello e corde in modo inchinamento, per le loro grandissime qualità di sensibilità che trasmettono al momento dell'impatto. Per fare questo entreremo nella mitica fabbrica del marchio Bavolat, storico appunto, nome nel mondo del tennis, e vedremo tutta la catena, la lunghissima catena eh, produttiva delle corde e quanto tempo ci vuole per produrre le corde in budello naturale. Nel secondo filmato invece entreremo in un'altra fabbrica, nella fabbrica della Tecnofibre, che ci farà eh, vedere invece la catena produttiva delle corde in sintetico, sia quelle in monofilo sia quelle in multifilo. Eh, vedremo così le differenze tecnologiche anche quando gli studi che fanno sulle corde in sintetico, eh, quanta tecnologia c'è dietro ma anche la differenza di tempi per costruire una corda in, eh, sintetico con la corda in, eh, in budello naturale. Questo ci farà anche capire la differenza di prezzo tra queste due corde. Nel terzo e ultimo filmato invece incontreremo un personaggio incredibile, il signor Lucien, un incordatore storico che ci spiegherà esattamente tutte le caratteristiche delle corde, le differenze quali aspetti dobbiamo tenere in considerazione per scegliere un tipo di corda oppure l'altro, ci farà capire l'importanza della corda unita alla, alla racchetta e questo ritengo veramente sia un filmato che non parla di storia sicuramente, ma ci farà capire esattamente quale eh, tipo di corda ci darà dei consigli veramente utilissimi per poter scegliere le corde adatte per esprimere il nostro gioco e anche per prevenire gli infortuni. Bene, nella prossima puntata di domenica prossima invece parleremo di un giocatore che ha cambiato il tennis, il modo di giocare ma non solo, anche il mondo intorno al tennis e parleremo di Beyond Board. Hi, I'm Chris Edwards with Tennis Warehouse and I'm here outside the Babla Natural Gut Factory in Plumel, France. And Babla have been making natural gut, perfecting it since 1875, so let's head inside Meet the team and find out what makes Babala Natural Guard so special. Hi Chris. Hi Owen. Welcome to the Babala Factory. Thank you. I will show you how we work. Put your hat. All right. Thank you. My chapeau. <laughs> The natural gut from around 400,000 cows per year enters the Babala factory, first into this cold storage room. These large containers are used to transport the gut from the local slaughterhouses in the Brittany area. Each batch is numbered so the quality of the gut can be tracked to its source. It's very cold in this room. What's going on right here? Yes, necessary to conserve the gut. We work with uh, slaughterhouses and uh, we need a lot of cows, around uh, 400,000 cows per year to produce. And is that why the factory is located here? Yes. Uh, the factor, the slaughterhouses are around the factory, around 200 kilometers. Okay, well it's very cold in here, so let's yes. go check out the next step. <laughs> next step. So this is the second stage right here, what is happening right here? Yes, here we're measuring the 12 meters long for the gut, necessary to, to do the string, and we need uh, two cows to do one string. Two cows for what, every string? Yes. Yeah. Babala makes use of the serosa from cows slaughtered for the food industry. Other uses for this food industry byproduct include strings for musical instruments and medical sutras. The ladies behind us are separating the gut. What are they doing there? What's yes, uh, they have to separate the serosa from the other part of the, the gut. Uh, that means uh, the part which has the most resistance for the, the, the string after. It takes special feel to separate the gut, or serosa as it's called at this stage. The workers only keep the section of the serosa with the longitudinal fibers as it has a necessary strength and elasticity for a tennis string. 
With the Sarosa separated, an ultraviolet room is used to check the Sarosa and make sure no part of it is damaged or has excessive fat that would weaken the string. The gut's now come out of the ultraviolet room, so it's had its first quality control check. And this lady's been counting out ribbons of gut. What is she doing here? Yes, here she's uh, making the first hooking to do a string. Okay, and then can you explain a little bit about how many ribbons she needs to count for each gut? She needs uh, seven ribbons to do one string. That's why we need two curls to do one string. Okay. The gut is laid on a table and checked for length. Already, it's been a very hands-on process. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the history? Like, a lot of the workers have worked here a long time, correct? Yeah, people uh, stay 30, 40 years working in this factory. So they've got some really experienced workers here. Of course. It's now time for the Sarosa to take a bath. Here we've got the chemical treatment uh, and this tanks around uh, 800 strings. Well, 800 in each tank? Yes, each tank. And you see, uh, they are white when we saw this morning. They were yellow and brown. And after the, the first treatment, they are now white. And then why are you changing the color of the string to a more white yes, color? Yes, because um, uh, it's not only a color. It's only a reinforcement and uh, cleaning reinforcement and for the agreement of players. Okay, so it makes it a more beautiful string. Yes, in the end. of course. In this room, the strings are dried and twisted 1,700 times over a 24-hour period before they're ready for the next step. We've moved over one room adjacent to the drying room now. Erwin, the strings are laid out on this two-tone table. Can you explain this process? Yes. After the dryer, we have to control the strings uh, to see if there is some fat or some black point. That's why two part black one and the uh, white one. And after this cleaning part, we have to make a stabilization of the string during three weeks here, uh, because the string will twist a bit and will uh, dry in the center of the string. The last time I visited the factory was in 2003, a long time ago. This room wasn't here then. What's going no. on in this room? The, this part of the production came here uh, 10 years ago, before it was made in Lyon. And what are they doing to the string in this room? Here, the strings are polished down to the right uh, range, uh, for example, 16 or 17. And after, we will see varnished and finishing. Babala makes four gauges of natural gut and two choices, with 16 gauge first choice being the most popular. When the, the, the strings are polished down, after, they must be varnished here, and then, we put the string on the table, just uh, here, to the control. And so the string is, is cleaned and coated, correct, in this machine? Exactly. Just cleaned with water and after varnished and the UV polymerization. And if you wanted to add color to the string, or for instance, you do a black natural gel? Yes, that's uh, here. We have to put just before the varnish, uh, some powder, black powder, under the varnish. And so, just by putting it under the varnish, it's not going to change the playability of the it's string? It's the same string and it's the same quality, the same characteristic of the string, exactly. On the production line today, half sets of black natural gut are being prepared with Babala's RPM Blast for a hybrid set. So the natural gut is packaged here in this room and by doing so, Babala ensure that the atmosphere in this room, which is a perfect 50% humidity, is sealed in the packaging. And it's all, yes, it's also protected by the sunlight too. Exactly, that's why we use such a packaging for the natural strength. So it's taken a whole month for the string, before, when it comes in to the factory here, to get in the packaging and be ready to ship out to the stores. And about 15 different employees have handled the string through various processes and quality control to make sure that VS is the best guy. Welcome to the sunny north of France. We're at Technofiber to show you all of our wonderful things. So we'll start off in the workshop.
The production rate is about three strings per hour per machine. Why is it so slow? It's like a cake. If you make a cake and you cook it all in one go, it's not going to be a success. We must allow time for the reaction to occur. And if you want good quality rope and good response, you must spend time. The key factors are the raw materials, temperature, the speed of production, and also the number of turns per meter that we put into the stringing process. First and foremost is the specificity. The quality is so high because we have an original track system. And as for the multi-filament, each one is unique because everything has been developed internally. Here, we're in the packaging section. I think there's a real know-how behind it. We've always wanted to keep the gripping process as part of the production. Here at Technofiber, we're determined to continue to keep the production local. The drum production starts here and finishes here. It's made in France, like it says on the box. Before marketing a line and before it's sold, it's checked for many different things that are verified in our laboratory. It's known as dynamic testing of our strings. This gives us a clear picture of the dynamic response of a string once placed on a racket. Lucien. I'm Lucien. I'm stringing racket since 40 years. How important is the strings in the racket is, let's say, 50-50. 50 is the racket and 50 is the action of the string. 50-50 means you have uh, such a nice frame, you buy a very good frame from the pro shop, uh, almost you, you use 20 minutes to, to choose the racket. And then for the, for the string, we have seen that so many times, it takes like 30 seconds. It's like having like a, a former one, a very fast frame, very fast car. And then if you don't choose properly the strings, you put like a track engine inside. This is not a competition car. So you must pay a lot of attention with your stringer to put the right string according to what you want or what you don't want. Advantage of the strings, a disadvantage or drawback of the strings. You have to make very carefully 50-50. First of all, the miraculous string do not exist. When you want to change a string, you have to explain to your stringer, you have to explain your sensations. Those sensations are I don't like this, I would love to have this. You explain sensation to your, uh, to your stringer or to yourself what you like, what you want to do, what, what you think you may have as an answer, more power, for example. If you go for durability, for example, you have only durability, you don't have power and especially not comfort because those strings are not made for this. You may have advantage and drawback on every uh, decision you take. What you have to do with your stringer is to find the right sharp edge for your game. Four or five different words in your mind. P for power, C for comfort, D durability, and also something extremely important. This is your precision. The way the string maintain or not maintain the tension. The string lose tension two times, 
without playing, let's say I string a racket today, I give you the racket tomorrow, there is a loss of tension, we call that static loss, and then as soon as you start playing, you have the dynamic loss, which is the string absorber energy, restitution energy. So this is, this is the, second, the second way of the string to lose tension. And losing tension, you are losing control because you enhance, you augment, you increase the speed of the, 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 the strings. There are two secrets. First secret is you write everything you do. I changed string today, there was that string, type of string, constriction, different constriction, different strings, uh, different tension, different diameter, different everything. Uh, tension, if I change tension, main and crosses. Uh, if I change diameter, main and crosses. All those parameters makes a difference. And then, and then when you change strings, change one parameter at a time. Means you change racket, keep the same diameter of the old string, keep the same tension, and then you change only the string, and you have the answer of that string. If you change everything at the same time, which one you like, which one you don't like, you don't know, you have to redo it again. So again, change one parameter of the time and write everything you do. Secret from competition. Different type of strings, two families, natural, Babola, 1875, we have uh, invented the, the string, the tennis strings. And then you have all the synthetics. What would make a lot of difference is the raw material we use, the family of raw material we use. For example, natural gut, that's uh, gut from uh, the cows, never being cat. We have several types of uh, families of uh, synthetics. Polyurethane, polyurethane extremely elastic, for an advantage, comfort, speed, to draw back, do not maintain very well the tension, and also very uh, influenced by the burning point, like the friction. Polyamide, different polyamide, uh, different elasticities, polyamide, a little bit of everything. Tension maintenance is correct, speed is correct, control is correct, uh, burning point is medium correct. Then we have PET, polyester, and the polyester is used for durability only. Durability is the friction, the burning point. You do ball effect, you do ball effect, the string move, the string move like this, and by moving, you, in, you increase the temperature. That temperature burn molecules, burn the string, and you break the string. Then polyester to draw back. Polyester is not elastic. Polyester do not maintain tension. What we call the construction is the way the string is assembled. Some products you use only for one type of construction. Natural gut, we need the, the raw intestine of the cows. We have ribbons, those ribbons are twisted. Different uh, construction is different way to make the strings different way to make the string, different type of product we used. Monofilament made in polyester. We melted uh, polyester, that polyester go into a small hole and the pressure and we do a filament of string. Multifilaments, multifilaments is for elasticity, comfort. Multifilaments made mainly of polyamide. We have, uh, let's say, uh, 1,200 uh, filament of polyamide. We need to glue them, we twist them to have uh, elasticity, comfort, etc. Or we have assembled, assembled, we have the monocore, we have filament that is glued also, and uh, we have a coating. We have different construction, different raw material. Uh, we, we have different made, different uh, filling. People believe like the ball touch the string, slide and then touch the frame. No. Ball effect comes from the friction from the strings. More friction, more ball effect. The thickness of the, the frame doesn't play any role at all. This is a dragon. Kill him. More tension, more power. No. Totally wrong in tennis. If you have a lot of tension, the string bed is extremely tight. The ball is not able move the string, absorb energy, so you don't have power. So if you want power, you have to decrease the tension. To less tension, then you have another problem, that's no more control. 
because the trampoline effect is too fast, then maybe you're not good enough to play with such a weapon like this. The multifilament is not durable. Yes and no. Yes, if you use it the right way. That's it. In construction is not made for durability. Extreme durability, you have polyester. Multifilament is made with a very thin, thin uh, filament of polyamide. So it is made for elasticity. If we have to kill one dragon, monofilament is made for everyone. Or that's the strength everyone can use. Eh, totally wrong. Monofilament polyester is only made for one thing, extreme durability. Extreme durability, again, is Rafael Nadal. It's the player with a lot of top spin. Those players, male and female, they are strong enough to bend it, to develop a certain energy. Uh, if you are a young kid, you're not strong enough physically to bend it. Natural gut is only for uh, being not politically correct for old people. No, absolutely not. For example, Roland Garros, we have 40% of the players, they play with hybrid. And the hybrid is made with natural gut. They are not old. They are less than 30 years old. Clap, uh, le clap technique, mesdames, messieurs.